my name is Arlene Jewell. I am from the Wet Suedon Band, Get em Dan, clan. It is a sad day in British Columbia, and even sadder day for Canada, when a 16-year-old youth has to go to the United Nations to stop the abuse served to us by the RCMP and the BC Ministry of Children and Families Development, the Attorney General's Ministry. As the failure of the Solicitor General's Ministry to ensure safe communities free from abusive government bodies, our journey, a long one with many twists and turns along the way. Some days we didn't think we would make it from the abuse delivered. Our message today, the same since 1998, some five years later, stop abusing the children, stop leaving them on the streets, stop leaving challenged Aboriginal children on the streets with no means of survival. Will anyone ever listen? Today I speak of my mission to the United Nations as we have exhausted every domestic means of resolution, including the Prime Minister's office. My mission and the mission of the Street Kids Project is that of the protection of the children, the protection of our future, which politicians take so very easily for granted. Although I am pleased to hear the BC Solicitor General, Mr. Rick Coleman, is willing to talk to the BC Union of Indian Chiefs with regards to the policing abuse. Talk is simple, not good enough. Nor can we focus the blame only on the policing community, as the BC Ministry of Children and Families Development shows cause to the policing abuse. The MCFD violates every rule in the book. They have been allowed to get away with it as they were untouchable, above the law, corrupt. We cannot excuse the Crown as they have failed to protect the children from the corruption within the MCFD and RCMP. They have failed and we went to jail for it, simply not good enough. Crimes against the children, crimes against humanity, Talk is simple. Not good enough this time. When one considers my sisters and I are victims of the RCMP's gross abuse, and they would rather stall out issues of complaints than deal with them, how long do we have to suffer without closure? And to be complainants to the RCMP Complaints Commission and abused by the investigators, internal affairs has no integrity whatsoever nor did the RCMP, or the Prime Minister's office for that matter, than to be ignored and abused, and to have our rights denied Miss, by Miss Heafy of the RCMP Complaints Commission. In the last four years, why have the RCMP or MCFD never addressed our complaints? Complaints of gross barbaric child abuse? They would rather work together and obstruct justice by covering up their negligence than be responsible. It was not good enough the RCMP took us away from our mother by their negligence than to be incarcerated in a prison model foster care system where neglect, abuse, and cover-up are the name of the game. No, it is not good enough we were taken away from our mother then taken away from our community, our families, our relatives, our schools, our medical supports, our lives, then to be lied to, then to have taken our rights away and to be lied about, then to have our rights to be protected by the Criminal Code of Canada taken away from us so we have no way to get out of their abuse, have ministry workers laugh as we try to get away from it, left to the streets to be raped, beat, beat by the police, to live in snowstorms, having to steal food for survival, and sleep on the streets in total disregard from human life. We are so weakened from it. They just manipulate us. And then it's a criminal issue. We end up going to jail for their abuse. Simply not good enough. We clearly demand a criminal investigation by the United Nations Task Force 
And although not in war times, although this is debatable, if you are an aboriginal youth in BC foster care, we will seek a president and call for issue of crimes against children, crimes against humanity. There are issues of aboriginal cleansing, and clearly we seek the laws of the land to be applied to those found guilty for their crimes against the children, as then it will stop. An apology is simply not good enough when you try and kill children. I thank you for the, this time and I thank you for your time in this matter. Arlene Duell, The Street Kids Project.